How'd you like that intro, guys? Oh, goddamn, that was that was something else, wasn't it? All right, it's the Da Vinci of Rainbow Six Siege. You already know what it is. I am back, all right, and I'm back to make some videos. This season is already in full swing, all right? Everyone's trying to get their champion, trying to get their diamond, trying to get their ranks. But what I'm gonna do, all right, this season, I'm gonna start off with a little studio tour, all right? I'm gonna show you around the Bald Sanctum, okay? Here's what's going to happen. I'm going to give you a rundown, all right? The monitors, the computer, everything, okay? Even that sword you saw in the intro. I'm going to show you guys, okay? I'm going to show you what a Rainbow Six Siege player, who's also a genius, who also looks like Pulse in real life, all right? What he would do to make that perfect studio to get that diamond every fucking season. Maybe even champion, but I don't know. We'll see, okay? First things first, I'm gonna show you guys around. Let's get into that right now. All right, okay, imagine you're just sitting on my chair right now, okay? You're sitting on the throne. And this is the view you'll have, okay? We've got the three monitors set up right here. We've got the keyboard, lovely. Got the mouse, got the mouse mat, beautiful. Okay, we've got a three monitor set up right here, all right, guys? This one is the one that I bought when I made my previous PC build. Uh, it's the BenQ XL 2540, all right? It's got 240 hertz refresh rate, all right? And yeah, I needed a new monitor when I made my new PC, my new PC right there. Oof, she is a beauty. And yeah, BenQ actually sent me this monitor for a review, and I decided to keep it. All right, guys, so this is the XL 2746S. Yeah, 2746S, the 27 stands for 27 inches, okay? It's a big boy, all right? 25, like all the pro gamers, they're like, yo, you, you have to get 24 inches, 24 inches all the way. Well, I'm a bald genius, okay? I don't listen to that, all right? Everyone in the Siege community is sitting closer and closer to their monitor, right? The pro gamers, look at Shaiko, look at Doki. They're practically licking their monitors, all right? They want to have like a human ACOG feature. When you're using a 1X site, all right? And if you lean close, it's, it just makes it easier to spawn peak to have those long distance engagements, all right? But I just rocked the 27 inch. I can keep the monitor a little bit further away. Huh? But it's it's still the same feel of view as 24 inch, okay? And I don't have to lean in as much. If I still want to lean in, I can, and I still get the, ad the same advantage. Now, aside from that, it's got the black equalizer, okay? Same as on this monitor. It's one of my favorite features. Black equalizer, basically, it's like it raises the shadows, okay? It's like it's raising the brightness in just the shadow areas so you can see better in the dark. It doesn't raise the brightness of the overall picture too much, mainly in the shadows. And on night maps in Siege, basically giving me night vision, it's like a super nice advantage. Obviously, they removed night maps, okay? But there's still dark parts in some maps in the daylight maps, all right? And that's gonna give you an advantage. It's gonna, it's gonna make it so much easier to get the target acquisition if you can clearly see them, but they can't clearly see you, all right? Think about that. Now, aside from the black equalizer, I also have Diac technology on this monitor specifically. That's a brand new toy in my toolbox, all right? This basically forcibly removes motion blur, okay? Guys, when you're, I'm gonna show that on the screen as well, okay? When I'm just shaking around my mouse super hard, all right? It's gonna be filmed in slow motion, all right? And when you freeze frame, when you press pause, 
and you compare the screen from one side to the other, diac on, diac off, you can clearly see the plate, the sign over here. You can see it clearly, all right? It's gonna be perfect vision. You can perfectly see your target no matter what, no matter when, all right? You're never, never gonna have a blurry image. These are the sort of min-max situations that's gonna make it better for you to acquire your target. You're gonna see everything clearly at all times, okay? With the black equalizer and the diac, and you just licking the monitor, hugging it close, all right? It's gonna give you an advantage, guys. Just trust me on this, okay? Now, lastly, We've got my third monitor here. This is not a gaming monitor. Just use it to put my YouTube videos there if I'm streaming. I put my music there, I keep the chat there as well sometimes. And yeah, I keep it in the default color space in case I'm Photoshopping and I don't wanna change the settings on this one back. And I just use that one. But obviously if I wanted to change profiles on this monitor, I could easily do that with this handy little dongle thing. You can save three profiles on here and seamlessly switch in between them. All right, it's easy peasy, guys. All right, now let's take a look at those peripherals on my desk, shall we? Let's take a quick, hot look. What do we have here? All right, so this is uh, where my camera would be, obviously. And then here we've got my Logitech G815. I got this keyboard pretty recently. Uh, the, the main thing that drew me to this keyboard, obviously, is the macro keys on the side here. A lot of uh, the pro gamers, they like to take uh, TKL, smaller keyboards. But I needed a bigger keyboard for content creation and such. And uh, yeah, I really like this keyboard because of the low profile. Look at how low it goes. It's like basically against the desk and I barely have to angle my wrist upwards so I can really lie on the, on the desk like a lazy boy. And then over here, we've got the mice. We've got the Zowie ZA13, all right? Really enjoying this mouse, especially because of the shape, all right? And then we've got the G Pro Wireless right here. Love it. You know, it's probably the most buggy mouse that I've ever used with the unADSing and the stuck keys. And uh, yeah, that's really annoying. And I, <laughs> the Logitech software could also use some work. Um, but aside from that, you know, I love the shape, love the wireless aspect of it. And uh, yeah, just, you know, the shape could use some work, but hey, it's not perfect, but whatever. Um, we've got the Stream Deck over here, Elgato, you know, so I can quickly load up my scenes. Uh, you know, I recommend to get one of those if you have a lot of scenes, obviously. Then we've got my second audio interface over here for my main microphone. We got a shotgun microphone Rode mic over here. The NTG, uh, which one was it? It's the NTG2, I would say. I'll have to look it up. All right, guys. Now, obviously, this is the PC, all right? The monster in the room, the second monster after me. It is a goddamn beast, all right? Look at it. You know, it just oozes with power the more RGB it has, okay? I'm, it was a pain in the ass to make, but here we are, okay? We've got the Thermal Take cooler, we've got the Thermal Take fans, we've got the RTX 2080 Ti, we've got the AMD CPU, guys, 3950X, 16 cores, okay? Rainbow Six Siege, it takes eight cores, okay? Maximum. That's the most it uses from your cores. So, if you have 16 cores, the more the better, all right? You can multitask so many programs, and it's not gonna impact your game that much because you've got eight cores remaining, and then you can run all your stuff on there. And that's beautiful, guys. That's what I call being a genius, okay? That is my beautiful computer build, guys. Next stop, guys, right, we got some studio lights here, obviously. We've got the Godox VL150. We've got some Young Nuo lights over here. Uh, they're the YN600Ls, in case you're interested. And hey, <laughs> I've got an external USB hub. Check it out, guys. It's got 16 ports, okay? 
I'm never gonna run out of USB ports. I'm gonna plug something in there, boom. Got the audio interface right here. I got two audio interfaces because I have one microphone over there and I have a double microphone setup right here, okay? So that's why I need that's why I need two. I got one right here and I've got another one on the other side, but we'll get to that. But guys, there's a good part and there's a bad part to everything, okay? There's good and bad in the world. Now this looks lovely, I know, but look at what we have right here. Oh my God. Oh my God. Are you kidding me? What is this cable management, dude? Believe me, it used to be worse. It was all on the floor, but now I got like a cable hub, cable basket right there to keep it all suspended. Yeah, it's a nightmare, I know. We'll work on that, okay? Don't worry about it, guys. Now that's where my second camera would be right there on that tripod right there. Obviously, I'm holding that right now. And this is the second green screen. That's the green screen I'm rocking when I'm streaming. That is the green screen and I'm, you know, doing all my moves in front of, you know, when I'm uh, going to my other scenes, guys. I'm sure you know what I'm talking about if you've ever watched my streams. Then this is where I would be standing right here. And we've got the microphones just overhead. Why do I have two, you might ask? Well, sometimes I'm moving around. If I go to the left or if I go to the right, all right, then uh, the sound is going to sound like it's you know, aside the microphone. But if I have two in an XY configuration, all right, then it doesn't matter if I go to the left, it doesn't matter if I go to the right, all right? It's always gonna sound like I'm talking direct to the microphone, all right? That's what it's all about, being a genius, guys, honestly. What do we have here? <laughs> got my, got my trusty, my beautiful, M1014 shotgun. Guys, disclaimer, they are not real guns, okay? They are airsoft guns, okay? But it's the spirit that counts, all right? It's the looks, baby. It's it's the style, it's the swag. Got a little SMG11. <laughs> like we're, we're like we're in the game in real life, guys. That's basically what it is. And we've got the VR setup, the Valve Index. We've got the two controllers, all right? Runs over to the back of the PC right there. So I stand right here and I do my thing right here, okay? I do my VR stuff. So yeah, uh, we've got two base stations over here. One base station here, one base station there. Basically, that's what you need for the VR. It's like tracking your position, okay? So what did I do? I don't wanna drill holes in the wall just to put up some base stations. Are you kidding me? All right, what if I wanna move the base stations at some point, all right? Then I've gotta fill up the hole again. It's a pain in the ass. Instead, I out genius the fucking game. All right, we've got ceiling support rods, construction style, baby. All right, and I can move this rod easily. I can just put it wherever I want, okay? That's how you out genius the VR game. Got another one right there. Ooh, what do we have over here? Hello. Ooh, hey. Okay, guys, I never actually made a video thanking you guys for 100K, but there it is, guys. All right, this year we're gonna climb further up. You know, we're gonna work on that next milestone. We'll see how that goes, okay? All right, next up, guys. We've got a huge ass sword here, you know? Just to add a little bit of flavor to the room. It is a present from my parents when they went to Russia. And uh, yeah, just adds a little bit of personality to the room, you know? Then we've got Tachanka, 
All right, the chunk. That's the only doll I have of the operators, unfortunately. Came in this lovely little box that I received. All right, there was some various goodies in there as well. And uh, yeah, this uh, real life alpha pack was in there too. It's pretty awesome. A VIP batch from the first invitationals I went to. I did make a video about that. You should have checked that out by now. I've got my lenses over here for my camera. We've got the G Fuel. All right. This is first, like, this is my first time I tried G Fuel. Okay. It's my first box. I'm still working on it. It's like probably up to here. And uh, yeah, Dr. Disrespect. I don't know what you, why you got banned, but uh, I'm going to find out. That is tragic. All right. We've got various lens filters. We've got a light. Or we've got various adapters. We've got the cleaning stuff over here. We've got like an eGPU. I have, I don't even need that stuff. I'm a collector, guys. I just collect a whole lot of stuff and I don't really even use it all that much. All right, I've got a camera cage over here. Oh, what do we have here? What's over here, guys? Ooh, we've got, we've got tripods, okay? We've got two tripods here. We have a slider, okay? We've got everything we need to make content, okay, guys? We've got a Zion Crane gimbal, all right, for those smooth shots. We've got Elgato boxes over here. We've got, you know, various batteries and sunglasses. Can't forget about those. We've got some trackers for VR. We've got a whole lot of random shit back here, guys. I don't know. I don't know what to tell you. If I kept going on about all the stuff in the back there, <laughs> it would be way too long, this video. But yeah, basically, this is what we have in the Sanctum. We've got my little hat collection over here. This is the Rainbow Six Siege hat that I got in my first invitations as well. Lovely. Got a drone. I used that for a couple of shots. Not for uh, Siege videos, but unrelated stuff. We've got... Yeah, this is like uh, something a family member made. I was really a fan, so... Made that lovely little hat. All right, that's gonna be it for tonight, guys. I gotta get myself that beauty sleep, you know, recharge my batteries. You guys, make sure you like, comment, subscribe. Make sure you follow me on my Twitch, you know, on my Twitter, on my Instagram. Links in the description. And I'll see you guys for the next one. Peace.